We just heard from a Ford dealer, but what will the end of the Cash for Clunkers program mean for Honda? Joining us is Brian Benstock, Vice President and General Manager of Paragon Honda in New York City. It's the biggest Honda dealer in the country. One of the, yeah, the used cars for sure. For you, for used? Well, how are used? Used sales are excellent yeah, right that's now. That's the question because you haven't gotten the Cash for Conquerors benefit for you. Well, we started a plan to fill the gaps in the Cash for Conquerors program called AutoStimulus.com that was specifically geared to pick up the customers that were left behind by the Cash for Conquerors program. This was meant to fill the gaps in the Cash for Conquerors program. We're now using it to replace the Cash for Conquerors program that's going to expire on Monday. How do we? I was telling Dagan yesterday. My uncle owns a big used car, used cars only. It's not a new car dealership with used. It's an only used car dealership, and it's it's a big one down in Virginia. His sales were soaring last month. That's right. Which, which is is odd because you're thinking, okay, well they're not eligible for cash for clunkers. H how do you explain why used car sales Here's what are happened. rising? Here's what happened. The administration with the stimulus plan jump started the automobile business. That business jump-started all the other businesses surrounding car sales. It brought the buyers out. Now it's an obligation of the private sector to pick up the slack, not the government to take over the auto industry. They jump-started it. Now it's time for us to drive the industry. What, what about reimbursements from the government? If you had trouble, you clearly didn't turn your back on the program. There's some... No, it's a great program. It, was, it, it did just what it was designed to do. There has been a little bit of a delay in payments, but listen, it's the first time the government's gotten involved directly with the consumer in the automobile business, so a delay in payment is to be expected. How many cars you into? I remember last time you were on, I was like, how many? Because we, we, we talked about how each dealer theoretically is allotted about 12 and a half cars, right? Um, if you average it out, and you you were well above that weeks ago, how many pro how many cars have you sold under the Cash for Congress program? This month alone, over 200 cars. The dealership is going to sell 900 new and used cars in the month of August. It should be 900 total, but about 200 under Cash for Congress. That's correct. You know, what's great as the Cash for Congress program started to fade out, our AutoStimulusPlan.com program started to take over. And remember, Cash for Clunkers program only accounted for 10% of the, only 10% of the customers in the country were eligible for the Cash for Clunkers program. The other 90% are eligible for our program. Is that enough, you think, to keep the buyers coming in? Well, I hope Again, it is. How much, to what extent has it pulled demand forward? That's this, the, the private sector, $800 million question. The private sector has to step up to the plate. Our program, other programs, we have to take the baton from the federal government and now drive this economy. Remember, I don't think it's any coincidence that as the automobile business turned around, the nation's economy started to turn around. We it fix the automobile business, you fix the economy. You know, I hate to ask the same questions over and over again, but I mean, there is a lot of debate about it. And it's a great month for you guys and good month for your salespeople sure. who make a little more money and everyone's hurting, and that's good news. But what kind of a pace now? I mean, if you look at July's numbers, we're on a 12 million sales pace for the year for the entire country. Is that sustainable for the next few months? Well, you know, I don't think that that, that, that number seems that's probably got to be a one month skew. Keep in mind, the sales uh, a year ago were about 17 million, and maybe that was uh, an anomaly. If that number backs down to about 15 million, I think that number is sustainable. I think from here we're going to go 11 million, 12 million, 13 million over the next three years. So while the short term sales may fall off slightly, I think long term it is sustainable to be plus 12 million sales a year. Brian. Good to see you. Good Please to come see you guys back. Again. Brian Benstock with Paragon Honda here in the fine city of New York. All right, 900 cars. Wow.